Today, we are in beautiful Cape Town to watch Edinburgh take on the Stormers at Greenpoint Stadium. We are at the back end of the season now, so the Stormers need to tie some wins together if they want to move up from ninth and into a knockout stage position. Luckily for the Stormers, their home record is incredible, winning their last six in a row, and with their next four URC games at home, they could definitely get it done. They are also littered with Springboks, including Le Boc, Willemse, Ruiz, Yankees, and now, France Malhoba is also back. The Stormers need to keep winning, there's no question about it. So, over the next three weeks, we'll be covering the Stormers, starting today in a 100 Rand seat, then an 800 Rand seat, and finally, for their round 16 game against La Rochelle, we'll be showing you what a 2,000 Rand seat looks like. The next three weeks are going to be an absolute roller coaster, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get to the stadium. Right, as you can see, we made it to Greenpoint Stadium, probably one of the most beautiful stadiums in South Africa. Today is a huge game. The Stormers need a win. There's also a couple of fringe players that play for the Stormers, Achivadai Mane, Herschel Yankees, Salman Murat, who are trying to impress Rassi ahead of the island test. There's a lot to play for today. Let's head in and see what it's all about. All right, we've made it into the stadium. We have a beautiful chicken sub. Our final score prediction. Stormers Edinburgh. And we're going Stormers by 14. And here come the Stormers! So there's about half capacity to the stadium. Not what we saw at Loftus a couple of weeks ago, but the storm is still need to put in a big, big shift here. Adam Brave to kick off. Put it pretty shallow. Yeah, well done, Murat. A big talking point today was Wandile Simulane getting his debut for the Stormers. A fun fact, when uh, Simulani was in Jeppe, he used to play 12 and 13. I've actually played against him, so I know how bloody good he is. If he hits his straps today, they should, he should be able to absolutely kill Edinburgh out wide. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Simulane goes today. Bit of a stalemate at the moment. We need someone to really crack it open. Pass, Ruiz. Nice. Oh, here they go. Simulane. Willemsa. Willemsa. Oh! Ruiz. Ruiz. Steam train. Marnie, cross kick. Who's there? Gotta be. Gotta be. Yes. There it is. Crowd absolutely loves it. Stormers on the board. Marnie to add the extra two. After that first kick, he's really going to want this for some confidence. Crowd seem to like it. And there he is. Another two point time. 7 0 to the Stormers. 11 minutes in. Oh no, Edinburgh clean up the scraps. Can he finish? Great cover tackle over the line. Try. Oh no, that is not what the Stormers wanted. Was from their own mistake though. Stormers are definitely their own worst enemy at the moment. They should have just cleared that at the back. Great attacking opportunity here for the Stormers. They really should threaten. Marnie. Dupesi takes it up straight. The vet. Philipsa, one more pause. There they are in the corner again. What a try. Oh, slot six. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Stormer's back line is far too good for Edinburgh. They just need to spread the ball and keep getting an out wide and they're going to keep scoring. They've got a line out now. Let's see if they can do it again. Once again, they really should get over here. Paul the bed, who's he looking for? 
All right, Brock Harris. Okay, they just got to go wide, Jeff. They just got to go wide, Marnie. Sabalani! Oh, surely, surely they get over. Knock on. Oh, no. Stormers with another line out here. You've got to think they got to go wide again. There they go. The vet. Marnie. Dan Duplessis. Off to Sibilani! Sibilani got to finish! Go away! Oh. Surely they get over. Paul the vet finally gets it out. What's he doing? Ivan Rus. You gotta think someone gets over here. Malherba straight into the ground. Okay, Marnie, show us some magic here. Another cross kick. I'm just gonna keep hammering away at it. Brock. Okay, now you use the backs. Come on. Oh my word! Stormers are honestly their own worst enemy at the moment. They just keep making their own mistakes. Absolutely killing them out wide. They just need to keep a hold of the ball. LeBoc. Dan. No pussy. Pull the bait. Gotta be. Gotta be. He's got a pause. It's Simulani! We've been asking for a Similani try and we got it, baby! There was a long check for that try. Ended up knocking it on over the line, so no try for 1D. <laughs> you only went to school, <laughs> I know, I know. So no try for Similani. Hopefully he can get another, have another opportunity to get one. Marnie, switch a play. A little trippy. Oh, lovely. Oh, here we go. Out of nowhere, the Stormers score another try. Marnie looking to add the extra two, and he misses it. 19-7, four minutes to go in the first half. Stormers have been absolutely dominant. Well, that happened out of nowhere. Try to Edinburgh. I keep saying it, but the Stormers are their own worst enemy. That came from a missed tackle by the ball. <laughs> Go away! Oh, it's too easy. Well, I'd say in the corner. Off to Zas. That's what we like to see. And that is the Hooter for half time. All right, so we've changed the side of the stadium we're sitting on so we can get all the Stormers' tries. As you can see, there's Signal Hill over there, beautiful stuff. Some T-Rexes on the field, and a Donna Man. There go Edinburgh. It's been all Edinburgh so far in the second half. They're looking to go. Oh my goodness, they're absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Formers are defending very, very well for now. they just got to try and hold out. Turn over ball, now they go wide. Got to send it. Oh, what a crap pass from Dan Duplessis. And here come Edinburgh. Oh, all they need is some hands here. Roll through. Oh, Bilimsa, dangerous, dangerous now. 50-22, 50-22, Damien Bilimsa. That's why he gets paid the big bucks, baby. Attacking line out here for the Stormers. We know all they have to do is just send it wide. See what they do. Oh, a little trick play. Here they go. Down the line. Call the vet. Offloads. Oh, got to be. Surely. Got to be. Advantage. They surely can't mess up another one from here. Go wide. Marnie. Oh, my. What? That must be the fourth try. They just knocked on right by the line. They just got to go wide. Marnie. 
Sabalani. Ruiz, wide, got to be in the corner. Finish. Oh, what a finish. There it is. There it is. It's quite simple. They just need to go wide and score. Storm is also another attacking line archer looking to put the nail in the coffin. They go for the driving wall. Oh, Ruiz, here he goes. And he's over. Try time. Barney's kicking definitely hasn't been great, but the Storm is absolutely dominating. 36, 14, 20 minutes all to go. Edinburgh trying to get a foot in the door later. And that is a try. Edinburgh score another try. Another very, very soft try. And Dan Duplessis slots the two points. And now it's 36, 21, about 12 minutes to go. The Stormers just keep leaking these soft, soft tries. Dwebe's first line out. Stormers looking to score. It's another try of line out time. And Chibadai Mane. They try and maul it over. They almost do. Ivan Ruiz scores another one. And the crowd absolutely loves it. Stormers with another attacking line-out. Dwebe throws it in. They just won it at the back. Off to Yankees. Yankees with the stepping. Yankees trying to finish it. Oh, they've got to get over here, surely. Yankees back up. No, just short. They've got to go wide. They've got all the numbers on the right. Surely, just hands. Oh, my. Samalani. Why ball to Anschenberg? We've seen this one before! Oh, and he's out. As the final seconds were ticking away, the Stormers had ticked the box. A convincing 43-21 win. Willemser showed why he's one of the best players in the world. Similani had a great debut and Salman Murat and Evan Ruiz definitely put their hands up. There's a lot to look forward to if you're a Stormers fan.